How could you do this? Do you want me to be an employee at my own company? There is a very real possibility that there won't be a company unless we do something about it. Now, be the captain. It's probably good, but in Silicon Valley, don't watch it. There's no way to describe it. You have to come and see it for yourself. They always think different, you know, Apple's motto. People think, oh, Silicon Valley is the place where they invent everything. No, no. Who invented the internet? The US government in Washington and MIT, Boston, you know. Uh, who invented um, the World Wide Web? Switzerland, uh, Geneva, that's where it was invented. Who invented a transistor? AT&T, New Jersey. Computer invented in Cambridge, England. Uh, smartphone, Nokia, Finland. Uh, you think all of these things. People think, oh, Silicon Valley. No, 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 no. All these things were invented somewhere else. So what's special about Silicon Valley? It's not inventing. When Silicon Valley started experimenting with computers, computers were as big as this room, bigger. Only very special people could work with a computer. Most people did not see a computer. It was closed in a room. You would just see a person with a white uniform give him your deck of cards, that's my program, and then he will give you the answer. In Silicon Valley, they started thinking, no, 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 no. We want a computer that sits on this desk. We want a computer that anybody can use. In fact, originally, the first experiment of a desktop computer in Silicon Valley was done at Zero's Park. It's a famous research center. And the idea was, let's make a computer for the schools. They were already thinking about computers for the schools. In the rest of the world, they were thinking bigger and bigger and bigger computers, more and more expensive. You know? So totally different way of thinking. If you ask somebody in 1950, somebody in New York, you ask him, what do you know about the San Francisco Bay Area? They would not answer, oh, the technology. There was no technology. They would not answer, oh, innovation. There was no innovation. They would answer crazy writers and crazy musicians, crazy artists. That's a society. There were people who were doing different things. Not the greatest artists, not the greatest writers, but just very different people. You know, the word is eccentric. You know, writers, they would write poetry in a very different way. Musicians, they would make music in a very different way. If you study the society, then you see in the 50s, a poet called the Beat Poet. Okay? In the 60s, you see hippies. You know? And then you see uh, the punks. And then you see Burning Man. Okay? I don't necessarily like all of these things, but these are things that became very famous, started in California, and what they have in common is that they question authority. They tell you, you have to live this way. And instead they say, no, 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 I live this way. Well, when technology comes, they use technology. Technology is supposed to be this. No, 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 I want technology for this. The first use of technology was to publicize this alternative lifestyle. Interesting. As I said, it started that way. It started with people like Alan Kay, thinking, how can I make this computer useful for the family, for the school? It started that way. So that's, uh, every time there's a new technology, there's so many people who try to think, how can we use this technology to do something useful? Yeah. So that's, unfortunately, that's really difficult. To, unless you live there, you know, it's really difficult to appreciate that there is this big effort to bring technology to ordinary people to make sure I don't get a cold shower in the morning when it's winter. <laughs> <laughs>